Hello and w welcome once again. A little introduction to this. Um, some viewer contacted me and he told me about he had a problem with a 4x4 shifting and he gave it to the dealer a couple of times. Uh, they weren't able to repair it. Then he gave it to a private uh, repair. Also, same result. He asked me what I think should be done. I said there is a module involved, electronic module. Maybe try replacing that. Well, sure enough, when he did take it out himself, after doing the work himself, he said it smelled burn. He said he's going to send me the old one, the old module, which I have in my hand, to look at it and to see what I think about it. Well, after receiving the module, he changed, obviously, the, uh, to a new one, and so far it's okay. The problem has, has gone away. He told me that this is burned. Sure enough, when I received it, it did smell burned. Now, this is from a Ford Explorer for a 4x4. So, one thing is, as soon as I received it, this module, obviously these are the connectors that go into it. It did smell burn, but also I noticed the screws were missing. So, that's the number one indication that somebody probably was in this module to begin with. Number two, there is a metal container, a metal housing they call it around these type of uh, boards, TCM boards, PCM boards. And that the reason being that to, to, for number one, for electrostatic discharge, so you don't ruin the, the components, and also to, to be sealed for that water doesn't seep in. Obviously, water being a dramatic factor when it comes to automotive. So liquids and all those things are conductive, obviously. I noticed this, the, the metal was not sealed properly, obviously because it was missing screws. So then, you, if you remember, I spoke about modules on my channel. And when I get a chance, I'll put a link to it. Uh, Joe, Electronic Schematics for Auto. I was speaking about modules and surface mount technology and electronics uh, uh, components. And... I think this is the best proof or testimony of what I've been talking about. Now, a little introduction to these type of things. This is the back of it. Now, when you turn it this way, you can see the result of what he was referring to. All the damage that happened, a big burn, probably from water seeping in uh, and other elements. Now, sometimes you have oxidation, but this is not oxidation. So, this is the result of it not being closed properly. Now, one thing is, this is surface mount. And this is why I'm getting to this point. Surface mount technology, as you can see, this is called surface mount. Surface mount, surface mount, surface mount. It has pads. It has pads on it. Now, the other ones, these always go through through hole. If you flip it over, and that's why I started the video with this, these are the points for this. It goes into holes, and these are called through hole. Now, why am I bringing this matter up? I made videos before, like I said to you, and I spoke about the problems that go on with computer modules, surface mount specifically. Vibration is the enemy of all these modules, not just heat. Well, I'll, before I was an automotive technician, I was an electronic technician, and then I was an assembler. That's what my experience tells me, and I teach you. These type of things, chips and all these things, are made by machine. They're put in by machine, by solder paste. Sometimes an oven at very high degrees for a certain amount of chips. This through hole is done by assembler work, by hand soldering, which I used to do. Now, keep in mind, I'm, when I'm getting this, it's not sealed, screws are missing. When you look at this, when, let's try to get a close up. When you look at this, being hand soldered, you should have the proper amount or the same amount of solder on all terminals what you see over here is i'll try to get it this one over here has much more solder these two over here also have more solder that 
was a clue for me right away. Somebody was in here and somebody tried to do rework. And they always try to do rework on what? On the electrical part of it, on the electronic, on the connectors of it. Because they always think the connectors are the guilty ones, are the fault. So they do this thing called the wiggle test, which is not even good for these type of things. If you're going to think it's the connectors or the wires, you have to put a meter from one end of the terminal to the other side of the connector like i showed you one time on the channel joe electronic schematics for auto and then you wiggle the wire and then you look at the resistance if it changes if it changes the wire is not intact properly that's the proper way to do it not just to wiggle the wire so i have all these proof that somebody was in here trying to do rework you can see it much better now over here these are even 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 all of a sudden solder has been added this has been butchered so therefore this cannot be saved whatsoever restored but just out of curiosity just to show you we'll clean it up a little and let's see what I use to, for surface mount technology is this you have to use a correct chemical to, to clean these type of boards notice this has a glossy look to it you see the reflection it's a glossy coating on it you have to use a proper one this is the one i use you cannot use one for electronic components and things like that because these type of surface mount chips if the residue gets in between these pins these are called pins and going to the pads these are high resistance uh, a, a li liquid so this is the best one to use so when you clean it Okay, you can see much better right now when we clean it. It's been charred and it's been burned, obviously. You can tell. Okay, beyond repair, obviously. Now, you can tell a lot of things from all these things. You can see that a pad or a component was already destroyed and lifted up. This is actual... The trace, the, the the part that does the uh, connecting to the to the component. You can see over here. <clears throat> you can see over here the resistors and capacitors are just are just probably have are defective right now because of all the the probably the liquid that went into it. Now, uh, one time ago, I told you, and I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully, you can see it. Let me pause. Okay, back to the video describing what happened over here as a cause of probably being burned and also other defective components now. These chips, as I explained to you, when it, ha when it has vibration, these pads, this is what we use. This is called a dental pick, an actual dental pick. We go over here, we go along all these pins and anything that lifts up, any pin that lifts up, see? See this one moved? This one moved, let's see if you can see it. This one moved off the pad. <clears throat> that means that's a bad connection. When I explained to you in other videos, these type of components, these chips, with especially these ones that are in the microns, these four-sided chips, have a tendency for the for the pins to come off the pads as you see over here as i just demonstrated to you see this one right here just came off see that's the problem with surface mount you will not see this on any other channel no other automotive technician will ever explain this to you i guarantee you now this is obviously scrap after all these but when it was when i saw that it was reworked i knew right away somebody was in here who did it he took it to the dealership i doubt that the dealership somebody the dealership did it i it doesn't even help to guess who did it and, and what the main problem is it was not sealed properly 
screws were, were missing and maybe they started they tried to solder something here i can't even guess obviously they did rework over here like we talked about <clears throat> this was butchered it's not the proper way to do surface mount not at all so that's an example of what i've been talking about and also when i talk to you about chips how the vehicle cannot operate with, without a computer as i specified before you could go on google and you'll see there's many many instances of there's a shortage of these chips these type of chips microprocessors the vehicles are standing in the parking lots the f-150s for ford the gm is trying to redesign the boards and get other parts other chips to take the place of obviously chips that they cannot get just like i told you if the computer is not working the vehicle will not move <clears throat> the fuel pump will not be engaged starter motor will not be engaged so this is just a lesson to be taught i guess so now the other question was about <clears throat> what are these components somebody a viewer said can you go over components usually i don't go over it but anyway these type of things over here these are called electrolytic capacitors and these electrolytic capacitors as you can see 47 microfarads are 50 volts and the polarity is the black over here is showing you the polarity of it just like this one over here electrolytic surface mount also has polarity you see this band over here telling you the positive and the negative just like a battery so these are capacitors polarized these are capacitors also but not polarized not electrolytic you could put them in any way any direction this has to be in the correct direction this has to be in the correct direction now he asked me about chips you remember the old chip through hole they had bands on their color bands black white red these work differently as you can see over here six two one six two is 62 ohms the one tells you how many zeros you put so you would put one zero after the number the last number so it'd be 620 if it would be 622 that means you put two zeros it would be 6200 if it would be 623 it would be 62000 let's take this one so so far this is 751 i believe that means 75 750 one zero so that's how it works these are transistors as you can see over here the collector being the this being the collector, that's why you don't see these two pins are visible. This goes to this part over here. These are also transistors. <clears throat> these are chips, obviously. These are also these are also capacitors. These are uh, transistors over here. Um, uh, as as you can see, the relay over here. Um, many other components. Also, more resistors, different value of wattage more more resistors sometimes these are chips also so anyway just basically uh i thought it was a pretty good lesson to to teach if you find this informative please i don't have a link to the channel please joe electronic schematics for auto as i promised before to do more hands-on i was asked to to work on a major project um for uh, for electronics and automotive obviously i took the chance and i, I took the, the opportunity to do it that's why i don't have too much time to do the things that I uh, wanted to do. But anyway, if this was informative and you find it uh, uh, um, edu educational, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.